Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is my mic on? Turn me on. Yeah, let's get to it. Turn me up. Turn me up. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with all the latest content. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP. Turn me up. All right, cool. We good. So, um, the saga. Salute to the saga. Battled against Rum Nitty. Salute to the saga and Rum Nitty. I know a lot of people have been asking what battles went down, what battles went down. And, and a lot of the word is starting to come out now about uh, the battles that happened. I'm not telling nobody who won because I didn't see the footage and I'm sure it's going to be coming out. But salute to URL for actually putting together an event full of battles that could make the app better. I think that was the biggest complaint from people. Um, they voiced their concerns. I voiced my concern. The app overall, I didn't really have an issue with it, but it was just the lack of content that, you know, makes it exclusive because a lot of the time we would be seeing newer guys, band guys, PGs, and then pay-per-views that we already paid for. I mean, they tried to stuff in some um, Born Legacies here and there, but, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the notes and the quotes was not able to keep it afloat, and people was like, it's a lack of top-tier talent. It was. I mean, let's just be for real. But with the battles that they put on, they got top-tier guys. They got Cortez versus T-Top. They got Shotgun Shug versus Tay Rock. They got Danny Myers versus... Big T, and then you had um, Snake Eyes versus Mike P, uh, JC versus Franchise, and most notably, The Saga versus Rum Nitty. Um, I'm not really going to do like predictions for all of those battles, but if I was to think of The Saga versus Rum Nitty, I would look at it from the perspective of The Saga has way more ga to gain from winning or even having a debatable with a Rum Nitty as to where Rum Nitty He's got Chilla Jones coming up. He's actually been cracking jokes with Chilla Jones, too. Um, I air rum. Hit your eye in air rum. When I air rum. In your air drum. You won't have no air rum. Like Bob air rum. I air rum. He's got more to... It's like one of those just keep it afloat battles. Um, rum Nitty, I don't see that he would like play games per se, but I just feel like the saga has so much more to game, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he's finally just getting his just do. I just do what I just do, so just give me my just do. And I always felt that way about the saga. A lot of people always say, yo, you big up people like the saga, like Danny Myers, and just people that I've seen overcome challenges and obstacles in their careers. And I will say that, um, I always saw talent in those type of individuals. Like, yeah, you have the big top tier names. Yeah, you got the Hollow the Dons, the Loaded Luxes, the big names. But I always saw talent in Danny Myers. I always saw talent who did battle Big T. He told me that, uh, you know, Big T, he, he, he got busy. But uh, Danny Myers said he got busy versus Big T. Um, but I always saw talent in guys like the Saga, like, just because he's Christian doesn't mean that he can't rap, doesn't mean that he got don't got bars, don't mean that he can't beat people. And the run that the saga is on right now, I think it's pretty remarkable. I mean, if you look at all of the battles that he's had in like the last year, he really ain't lost to nobody. He really has not lost to nobody. And he's got 30s and he's got wins, clear wins. And I think that it's um the time to put saga up there give him some bigger names and um him getting a bit a name like a rum nitty lets me know that the stock is starting to be pushed his way and he's telling me i mean i spoke to him briefly and i spoke to you know a bunch of other people that you know he if y'all he didn't get body let's just say it like that i'm gonna just be honest with you the, the the talk that i got from a lot of reputable people is uh you guys are going to be surprised. The word classic is being thrown around. The word one of the better battles of 2019 is being thrown around. But uh, Saga got busy is all I'm going to say. I'm just going to leave it there to make it fair and make it clear. Player, yeah, uh-huh. So um, we'll see where that goes. But uh, congratulations to him for even getting that. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that you have to show respect and admiration and love to somebody when they're coming up and when they continue to rise and grind. Like this man has had to earn his keep, you know what I'm saying? Nothing was given to him, and he's basically building the building blocks to 
you know, hopefully make it to the next level. I know there's people who don't like him, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's gonna be people who don't like everybody. There's people who don't like me. They watch me still, but they don't like me. There's people who don't like you. There's people, I'm sure somebody at your job don't like you, a neighbor, your baby mama, somebody from down the block, you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of people, who, but who cares? You have to appeal to the people who care about you, and that's what I do, and I hope that that's what you will continue to do in your personal lives. Um, you got a lot of events coming up. Town Business 2, the predictions for Town Business 2 is out. Uh, you got the Rex versus Rock card coming out. You know what I'm saying? Um, salute to Battle Academy. They got their whole event going down um, tomorrow. I will be locked in. Showtime SP does have to work. So, I mean, I'm going to either wait for him to get off to recap or y'all let me know how y'all want me to handle that. But he does have to work tomorrow. This man always has to work. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? That man got a family to feed. So, I can't, I can't knock it, especially for just a hobby which is something like battle rap and um, blogging. Chef Trez is battling against A-Ward. I think Chef Trez versus A-Ward is a dope battle. I think that these two could actually have a very, very, very phenomenal battle because uh, Chef Trez has battled a lot of the horsemen already. He's battled Loso. He's battling, he's battled Loso. He battled Saga already, and now he's battling A-Ward. A-Ward is not gonna play with you. A-Ward is not gonna play with you, lyrically, he gets crazy with that pen. Chef Trez, freestyles, rebuttals, and um, they could potentially have um, a really fire battle amongst them too, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I like the route that Chef Trez is going right now. He's just battling against Danger Zone. He had Ill Will the week before. Uh, he's got some other shit coming up. Like he's just, he's, he's out there. He's putting his name out there, getting in his lane. He's doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? You can't knock somebody who's taking control of their own brand and you know getting out there and getting busy but um that's as far as the battles go uh obviously you still have smack volume 5 coming up and then you have uh, a lot of other things and the thing is though about the app like i said i, I still have the app but uh I, I was waiting and i was hoping that better content gets uploaded because i'm not gonna lie like some of the releases just don't really be like that i think they had like a gunpowder pat battle the other day that was just, that's just not it. Like, I'll be honest with you, that's not what we're paying for. It is, I mean, I'm sorry, it's not what we're paying for. I turned the battle on, I watched it for maybe a minute and a half, and I was like, nah, I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got better things to do. Like, especially when, when you got new talent that's really, really putting their foot to the pedal and like wilding and bugging out in their rounds, like Kid Kruger versus uh, Kid Chaos, you know what I'm saying? Jay Kruger versus Kid Chaos, and then you had like Ace Amin's battles and Swamps and all of that, that's really on go. Wildin and the battles is fire I'm gonna watch but when you got shit like that I'm like man come on a lot of this shit that these guys are spitting I could literally spit I mean I'm not saying that I'm better than nobody but I'm just like we if when you watch a game like an NBA game you watch it to see things that you can't personally do you know what I'm saying like as we sitting at home you watch to see people get big slam dunks three pointers handles you know what I'm saying like you watch it for that you don't watch it to see somebody go like this Something that you could do, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we're not watching to see nobody do what I could do. No knock, but you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, um, them guys get better. But overall, this is about none other than The Saga. A lot of y'all, I put the picture out with the two of them. A lot of people were saying Saga's gonna die. Saga's getting body. Saga's getting 30. This could be potential body of the year candidate. Well, um... Just be honest with you, I'm just being honest that uh, word is classic, word is uh, if you're expecting Saga to die, you might want to um, look for another try. And um, you know, he's got Reaper Rell coming up, Reaper Rell um, jumped in the comments and was like, uh, you know, Saga's taking the battle the week before he's taking me. My thing was Reaper, you don't turn down a Rum Nitty battle, like you don't. You wouldn't have turned down a Rum Nitty battle, I fuck with Reaper Rell, but you're not turning down Rum Nitty because guess what? If you turn him down or you say, nah, I got I got Reaper coming up, nigga, <laughs> you never gonna get that battle again. I would rather have a classic, it is what it is, I would rather have a classic with Rum Nitty or potentially have a beat him or have a debatable because if he has a debatable, it's a win in his regard because he's not supposed to win anyway than a battle you, you know what I'm saying? Like, And it's just what it is. And that's why I told you, like I told all the other MCs, Take your career in your own hand. You've been around for years and years and they're not pushing you like that. So take your career into your own hands and hopefully you get them battles that you need. And I would like to be sitting here talking about your major moves. But um, until then, you know, you already know what to do and what it does. So you got to ask what it was. I got something real special coming up for y'all. 
Uh, I'm not going. I'm not. I ain't gonna put it out there yet. I, I just want. I just stay tuned. Is all I'm gonna say. I got. I got something real, real special for y'all. You already know what it is.